Today we are opening Galar Mini Tin. These recently restocked in Game Stops and contain the ever so coveted Cosmic Eclipse. Taking a look at these packs real quick, each one comes with two packs, one coin, and one Pokemon card art. Each one displays a different Pokemon. This is the Obstagoon. We have the Toxtricity, the Dragapult, the Galarian Rapidash, and finally, the Galarian Sir Fetched. Taking a look at our first one here, I've already taken off the plastic because it was so hard to take off. We've got our picture card, our beloved Cosmic Eclipse Booster Pack, a Rebel Clash, and I think that coin fell out somewhere. There it is. A Suicune coin. I love Suicune. I'm going to go ahead and take out every single one of these packs, and then we'll get started. Guys, I cannot make this up. As you can see, I already have four Cosmic Eclipse, four Rebel Clash. I was opening them each up to have them all laid out on the table. And as I open this Dragapult one, there's one Cosmic Eclipse and a second Cosmic Eclipse. This is an error 10. There's supposed to be one Cosmic and one Rebel Clash. We now have six Cosmic Eclipse and four Rebel Clash. The whole purpose of buying these tins was for the Cosmic Eclipse. I just got an error tin. Usually I get errors like missing rares or missing reverse hollows, but this is the best error I have ever gotten. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our Rebel Clash. I cannot believe we have an extra Cosmic Eclipse. Chase card's gonna be on the screen. We're gonna get right into this. Rebel Clash doesn't have too many good things, mostly the bosses and orders, but what I really want is there's a Nine Tails going into a Growlithe, Clefable, and a Whiskash non hollow. We're gonna speed through these because we all know that we're looking for the Cosmic Eclipse. These packs are opening up so smoothly. Going into our second pack, we have Dreepy, Vullaby, Scyther. Wow, that is a nice artwork. We got Binacle, Corsola, Holosand, and another non hollow Spirit Tomb. Going into our next pack, we have another Rebel Clash. So far, we are 0 for 2. Um, typical hollows are 1 and 3, so we're not doing bad yet. I think I just saw something in the back. Look at that. We got Phantom, Bunelby, Impidimp. Growlithe, Milsery, Pelipper, what's it gonna be? A Pinchurin V. Not so bad. I am forgetting to put all the code cards on screen, but you'll probably find the code somewhere in this video. Going into our next pack, we've got our last Rebel Clash. These packs really are opening so smoothly. I'm already, oh man, I hate when I do that and I already show the green code card. Sometimes you can get a hollow like that, but we just got another non-hollow spirit too. All right, look, I know I breezed through those Rebel Clash and all we got was a Pinchurin V, but what we're really here for is the Cosmic Eclipse. Going into our first Cosmic Eclipse, it's really crazy to get two packs, one of them being Cosmic Eclipse, for $8.99. These Cosmic Eclipse packs are retail, are not retailing, but market value at like $12 a pack by itself. Going into a Rowlet, Pissimian, Sfeel, Trap Inch, Duskull Reverse, and a non hollow Swana. So the Reverse Hollow has a lot of potential for those character rares, mainly the Pikachu, but the Ultra Rares in this set are absolutely phenomenal, and I would absolutely love to get one. Um, if anyone has seen that the video with my uh, really big pack opening, I did pull a lot of big hits from Cosmic Eclipse. Going into a Cricketot, Swirlix, Drillbur, Coughing, Snow Runt, Carvana, Reverse, and a Seismitoad non hollow. Striking out on two Cosmic Eclipse, but we have extra because we got the Error 10. So I'm not worried at all. This is going to be our third pack, like I said, for uh, Rebel Clash. Hollows are one and three. Oddish, Rufflet, Azuril, Chinchow, Reverse Pawnyard, and oof, Grey Dilly. All right, come on, give us that extra pack of luck. We didn't get it for nothing, did we? These packs really do open so, so well. 
Um, if I didn't say it already, the uh, chase cards will be on the screen. Lit Leo, Ponyard, Stuffle, Pikachu, Skrelp, a reverse Sandy Gast, and a non hollow Mimikyu. And although Mimikyu is a popular Pokemon, it's not really what we're looking for. We are down to our last two packs of Cosmic Eclipse. I honestly don't know if we'll be able to recover from this, considering we haven't gotten anything yet. But a Rainbow Rare, maybe even the Pikachu character rare, you know. There's the code card, the one that I remember to give. Magnemite, Rhymer, Phantom, Rowlet, Cottony, Reverse Cottony. Back, I feel like anytime you get the same reverse in a pack, it's always back to back. Cottony and a non-hollow Glalie. All right, guys, this is not looking good. Oh boy. Every time I get a Phantom, it reminds me of Danny Phantom, the other YouTuber. Going into our last Cosmic Eclipse. This is really, really tough, even for me. Cosmog, Piplup, Timpole, Duskull, Tangela, Reverse Weavile, and we are going to end on non-hollow Glalie. Well, guys, there's not much to show for it except for this Pinchurin. And as I promised, code cards for the chat. A little bit depressed just just a little bit anyway if you guys have made it this far into the video thanks for watching and again don't forget to leave a like or comment subscribe do that whole youtube things and i'll catch you in the next one